Hey you guys, it is William Colling from Movie Blogs and Emma, who won the Malta Eurovision Song Contest with Out of Sight. Our girl has said out of sight, out of mind. She has dropped her song and she's back with a new one. It is called I Am What I Am. Hey William! Should we listen and react? <laughs> Let's do this! start can I just have a little bit of moment to grieve out of sight I mean I feel a little bit inconsolable now I mean oh swimming the waves of the ocean lost the direction to go in trapped in the middle of nowhere doesn't work this way oh do you know babe all by myself in a moment this time Oh, uh, do you know, that song, why did you have to switch? I can understand Chameleon switching to Walk on Water, but Malta, seriously, why? Okay, this new song, I Am What I Am, or had better live up to expectations. It better blow me out of the water, because right now, my expectations are raised hunty. By the way, Emma Muscat will be performing at the London Eurovision party. Do you have your tickets? Cause I am pitching for front row. All right, Emma of course is a beautiful woman. Stunning stage presence. She looked amazing at Multiverse and Sign Contest. Let's see what she's serving here. Hitting Palais. Hey. Oh, this girl is gorgeous. Strong eyebrow game. Nice piano. Okay. We're building. Right into it. She looks amazing. Yes! A little bit of country music vibe there. I am what I am. <laughs> Um, I appreciate the message, but this chorus is so basic. I am what I am. She can sing it. This is very cliche and predictable, but our girl looks good and she sounds great. And there's a nice positive feeling. Hey, yeah! I've almost had enough of this. Almost. And I, there's a sweet message. She's amazing in that white pantsuit. You switch a perfectly good pop song for a message song. She looks Vietnamese like me. She I. And every single person in this video is a minority, apart from the person singing the song. Oh yeah, ooh, ooh, ooh so cliche. I knew she was gonna do that. I knew she was gonna do that. Vocally, she's on point. I mean, it's Emma Muscat. She can sing. She looks amazing. But why have they gone for this? Okay. I need a bit more vigor there. More vigor, girl. Harder. I don't get it. And the video feels very insincere and somewhat inauthentic. Oh, my God. This feels like eight minutes. She can sing. She can sing. Yay. All right, look. There's a lot to discuss here. 
Um, first of all, I think this is very well-intentioned, right? This music video. But it can also be read as a little patronizing. Like, imagine getting the email, Hi, um, you're very different. Um, will you please come be in this video where we're showcasing people who, like, are normally, like, marginalized? Do you know what I mean? Like, it could be read in a very patronizing way. That's not the motivation, obviously. Obviously the message is about come together, you are what you are, you're beautiful, you're amazing. Um, yeah, I don't know. Curating difference like this, I always find just a little cliche and a little cringe. And I say this as a mixed race, gay person, gender not conforming, so please don't, don't come for me. Well, I should be applauding, but I feel hijacked. Where do we begin? First and foremost, I hope the songwriters behind I Am What I Am are also the songwriters of Out of Sight because otherwise it's like, it's not just a performer going to Eurovision, it's, it's a whole team, including songwriters who actually create a song. Because why would they switch from Out of Sight? I don't get it. Also, the competitors who... Okay, so Matt Black had a song about self-affirmation and being a, that felt authentic in multi-eurovision song contest this doesn't this doesn't i mean this song already is middle of the road but i think the key issue here is artist and song mismatch it just does not feel like it feels like if emma muscat wrote the song she should give it to someone else to sing because it'll be more compelling but her singing it uh i don't know um in any case Emma's a fantastic singer. She really is a fantastic singer, and you cannot deny that. You saw that in the Multi-Eurovision Song Contest. She won. The song wasn't amazing. Out of sight? It's already out of mind. I don't remember it. I remember it was disjointed and kind of had a lot going on, whereas this feels more cohesive. This feels like a cohesive song, one theme. You know, it's working within a certain range, and it all fits, so that's all nice. I personally just don't like the song. I, I mean, I just don't like the song. I think she's better than the song, is what I'm trying to say. Beautiful singer, amazing voice, great stage presence. The song, I, you are what you are song. You are what you are. And um, you are not on my Spotify playlist, okay? You are not on my Spotify playlist. It's, um, it's a tricky one. Like, I love Malta. I always want Malta to do well. I just don't see this being competitive. This is not competitive. I, it's not competitive. The other thing is, whilst I have no... I'm not expecting people who sing songs like I Am What I Am. First of all, like, multiple issues here. I Am What I Am is a song title. Automatically, which, which song do you think? And of the two of them, which do you prefer? No one's gonna pick this. Secondly, if you sing I Am What I Am, I'm just a little confused. If you sing a song like that as a presumably straight white female, or I suppose you could argue that women have been marginalized, Oh, I, I don't know. I just feel like it's a message song. Message song should not be afterthoughts. You know, it should be the lead factor. It should be coming to Eurovision with your message. Uh, the, 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 this is an afterthought and that already leaves a sour taste. There is a silver lining, which is that Eurovision fans ultimately are a minority. So most people wouldn't have heard this before. You know, not everybody's like us that we're gonna research to the nth degree. Most people will be hearing this on the first night. But you know what? Being competitive, maybe that's not the goal. Maybe the goal is to have a beautiful anthem that will inspire people. And I think many people will love this. I am not one of them, but many people will love this. I don't know who they are, but you know, th this will find an audience. Um, let's read some comments from the Weeblogs website. Carl says, imagine pulling all those shenanigans to change it for such a mediocre song and pissing a lot of people off in the process. I mean, okay. I think they were right to change the song personally because the previous song was not better than this. Um, and I feel like this showcases her voice in a really nice way. So there are a lot of positives here, but ultimately neither song, neither song is up to Emma's level. Una says, Malta are so predictable from a bad song to another bad one. Empty words, generic music with all signs of Melfest reject, despite the extra credit. Another one where nameship is prominent regardless of the product in a desperate attempt to score a few points. Worse than San Marino 2018, Malta do not deserve to qualify this year. Other countries with better songs or at least much better effort could lose out for the dot 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 of Malta again. Una is not a fan, is the point. 
Leendert Jan says, I can imagine the other candidates of MESC, especially Aiden being a bit pissed off now, and to say that's an improvement? She's a good singer, but she's changed one generic song for another, to be honest. Dave says, oh my god, I can't believe it, four hours of watching commercials, that's the multi-Eurovision Song Contest, with short breaks for songs, and they are changing the song, I will never again watch the multi-selection, it's ridiculous. There are some positive comments, let me find them. There are pop there are positive comments. Um, okay, well this is kind of a positive comment. Sam says, in the semi, this will probably be top five with the juries, and bottom five in the televote. Predictable, uninspired, and just like out of sight, I cannot remember a single line from the song. I do not want to see Malta in the final this year, honestly. Okay, well top five of the juries, Sam says. She can sing. Jack says, juries will love this. Televote will ignore it as much as they ignored in Grosso. It's crazy that countries still buy Melfest rejects that sound like they were written in 2010. There's also a part of this that just feels like it's going for a jury bait or trying to tug on the heartstrings of the televoters. It feels like this isn't about a song. This is about a desperate bid to clinch into um, the grand final to kind of make an impression on the left-hand side of the grand final. Whereas I think it's just a lot more fun if you impact your audience, but this feels like hijacking a cause to make an impression on your audience. I must admit here, the issue I'm having here is, is not Emma Muscat. Emma Muscat has got such a beautiful voice. I mean, you can go back and check out my multi reaction video. I really connected with Out of Sight. I thought, yeah, it was lyrically heavy, but it was a good song and she could pull it off. And you know, the other thing about Emma is that she sings songs in multiple languages. Obviously, she speaks Maltese, being from Malta, but she also speaks Italian fluently. She was a finalist on a big Italian show, which is a huge deal, by the way. Can I just point out? So Emma is like, to me, tick, 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 tick. And she's a songwriter. She does write her own songs. The issue here is why she's decided to sing this song. And this song would have had a lot more impact had it been chosen first. Not as a sort of like, you know, as a consolation prize. Especially when Out of Sight was not that bad to begin with. Oh, and it sounds really middle of the road. There are no surprising key changes. There's no surprising orchestration, instrumentation, or even vocal delivery. It just follows the very plodding structure. So it makes the message of the song stand out a bit more, but that's not a message that sounds authentic or particularly believable to somebody who, you know, isn't a veteran in the music industry that has gone through trials and tribulations or isn't even um, somebody who's, who would normally be marginalized, you know, an LGBT person, for instance, a trans non-binary would kind of sing that disabled, you know? But then having all those characters feature in her music video just feels like playing to that rather than being that. So therefore it comes a bit as, you know, it comes across as, I'm lost for words, you know what? Malta, I love you guys dearly, but sometimes, uh, you know, maybe I'm overthinking it. Maybe I'm actually overthinking it. Maybe come on stage, this will slay. But Out of Sight was good. It was good. It was good. It was good. It was good. Oh, this is just bland. This is ordinary. Oh, and it's pretty much the last song to be released. Like, really. You know, so there's just, it feels anticlimactic. Like, it's been a whole long build. For this! what I is, girl! Okay! Where is Malta competing? Let's see. Malta has been drawn into semi-final two. They are singing in the first half. They'll sing alongside Australia, Georgia, Cyprus, Serbia, Finland, Azerbaijan, San Marino, and Israel. And in the second half, you have Montenegro, Romania, Czech Republic, Poland, Belgium, North Macedonia, Sweden, Estonia, and Ireland. It's funny, I would have loved to see Malta go for a summer boppy, upbeat, feel-good number. Like, this is meant to be feel-good, but because it's so cliche and ballad and predictable, it doesn't feel good. It feels a little bad. It rubs me the wrong way. But if she had gone for one of her summer bops, serving me that, you know, Mediterranean realness, that Maltese oons, 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 I would have really loved that. Um, but look, I'm wishing our girl the best. Um, I hope they have epic staging. Malta often does put a lot into their staging. Remember Camille Chameleon, remember Destiny, beautiful stage show. Hopefully they will have a great stage show that will elevate this. 
In any case, that's what we think. What do you think? Do you like I am what I am? And how would you describe what this song is? Let us know here on Wee Wee Blogs. Emma Muscat, the last time I checked, I didn't see you on Pinterest. You have modeled across the Mediterranean. Please, please set up a Pinterest account. And while you're at it, follow Wee Wee Blogs because we are also on Pinterest. And we will see you later. Bye. Bye.